Don't you just hate it when you're wanting that mouth-watering breakfast from McDonald's you've dreamed about all night long, and you get to the drive through at 1031 just past the 1030 breakfast cutoff? I'm so sorry. Well, my friend, fret no more because your Fayette County McDonald's is offering breakfast all day long now. So relax. Oh, and by the way, your Fayette County McDonald's is looking to hire managers starting at 1250 an hour. Apply online at www.mylocalmcds.com forward slash Jeffersonville today. This independent McDonald's franchise is an equal opportunity employer committed to a diverse and inclusive workforce. Good day, everyone, and welcome again to another edition of Fayette Focus. Harry Wright with you. Today, my guest from State Farm Insurance, we've got Andy Lewis. Andy, how are you? And we've got Tammy with us today. Tammy, how do you pronounce your last name? Maddock. All right, and you are uh, the recipient this year of a great event. Andy, it's coming up this weekend. Uh, the party for movies, August 13th at Park. That's the third annual. That's right. We're more than excited this year. It's bigger, better than ever, just like we promised. Um, more support locally than we've ever had. So it's just, it's going to be a great time. And Andy is sporting this year's fashionable T-shirt. I am sporting last year's because I thought this much gray together with our background would kind of be overwhelming. And besides, Tammy called me and said, wear black because I'm, I'm wearing black. So we left we left Andy out of the memo there. But um, great event. You got a bunch of teams, 16 teams, double elimination. You're going to play under the lights and everything. Yeah, we start at 9 o'clock in the morning. We usually last until midnight, 1 o'clock in the morning. Um, 16 teams, double elimination. It gets competitive, it gets fun. Um, we'll have all sorts of things out there that this year. We have dunk tanks, live bands, um, we have raffles, all, all sorts of stuff to do. That's right, and you can get your fashionable t-shirt or the wristband. And, you know, big thank you and kudos to Wendy's. Yeah. Wendy's and Roosters, both big sponsors this year, but Wendy's, they went above and beyond with the wrist, wristband sales, didn't they? they have been the wristbands for several months now, and the outcome of that has just been tremendous. So, uh, you know, a big thank you to them, a big thank you to Roosters and all of our sponsors. Now, you know, that's nice to have that kind of uh, a sponsorship support because that gives you a little bit of uh, in yourself knowing, yeah, we're doing something good because people want to help. Absolutely. Um, and that's because it all got started, folks, you know, a couple of years ago, one of Andy's relatives um, was battling breast cancer and Andy wanted to do something. And he thought, hey, we have softball players. Let's play some softball. And there was a small opportunity to help. Um, the light clicked. We felt like this, this was something the community would enjoy, uh, not only the cause, but the event. Um, and from there, it has just snowballed. So. And, and, you know, it was Andy's aunt, I believe, that, that was the recipient, Chris. that your Aunt Chris. And um, she passed away the day of the event. So it kind of reinforced it. And, you know, I can't think of anything more that she would want with this event to continue on. And look how it snowballed. No, absolutely. This is forever her event. Um, you know, the morning of when it happened, that was the feeling that I had, that it was just, uh, you know, the, the situation at hand and how it unfolded, um, you know, this is her event and it always will be. And, and, and she's with me helping wonderful women like Tammy and, and the, the rest that we help in the future. Well, let's talk with Tammy here for a minute. Now, you're going to be there for the entire day? Yes. So 9 o'clock till midnight. Now, I understand you're going to be doing some pitching duties around noon or so. I get to throw the first pitch. There we go. So we're going to have that. Of course, Channel 3, we're going to be there uh, getting some film like we did last year's event. And what a great time. It was great bands. Um, you're going to have too much fun Saturday. Yes. yes. Yeah, and that's fine. And yes, she is. Yes, she is. So she's going to have too much fun because it is a great event. And uh, it, I don't know. I, I liked the food last year and um, just the atmosphere. It was really fun. I know there was another event going on at the same time at Iman Park over in the, the playground area. And a lot of those people were meandering over to your area because you were, yeah, you were having more fun. And it's like, hey, let's go over there. So, folks, live music, a live band. And, um, you know, tell us just a little bit of how it feels to be honored this way by the community. It's a great honor. I mean, I appreciate the, I appreciate what Andy's doing. Um, when you're going through the battle of cancer, um, everyone focuses on the battling part, but no one looks at the medical bills part. And you go through the fight, and then it's like, oh, you got all these bills now. 
Right, and not just medical bills, but we were talking about, you know, people miss work so they can be with you at the hospital for treatments and, and you know, there's, you know, the everyday expenses that, you know, you're being treated, so therefore you're not being able to help with. And I we can understand that is the thing. And, and you know, there are some organizations, as Andy and I have talked before, that will help some with the medical bills and whatnot, but the other expenses, there's nothing. So an event like this is just like, it's great. Right, it, it is. And actually... I mean, what Andy's doing is great, but I think in many different ways, I know there's people that's going to be playing in the tournament where this may help them in different areas, not just like cancer or whatever. So, Well, you know, I've always been a firm believer that you you want to give everybody a chance to do something good because I know Andy does this because he knows it needs to be done, but it also because of that great feeling that you get at night when you look at yourself in that mirror and say, hey, I've, I've made a difference in my world today. And so every one of those softball players are doing that. They're all making a difference. Exactly. And they're all making a difference. Some of them might know you. Some of them might not know you. But, hey, they know that this is an important thing, and I'm just tickled. Of course, you know, and there's nothing wrong with going in cleats up second base either. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. I mean, because because I want to talk with you about that because you know we're, everyone says, "Oh, charity softball tournament." Okay, a bunch of old guys out there in their seventies, and you know, it's uh, no folks. This is serious softball. Yeah, I, I think the one thing we figured out right away was that, that it's more competitive than we ever thought it would be. So, which I'm completely okay with. So when we get to the final Saturday night under the lights, you know, that's folks. That's bring the kids and the, yeah, but bring the kids, bring a blanket, bring a lawn chair, and watch those games because they have competed all day, and they're competitors. I I, I never thought it at a softball game put on. That was last year. A guy went in there second base cleats up, and I'm thinking, okay, this is serious stuff. We had, we had crowds come last year to that set up tents and chairs and, and and kind of what you were you and Tammy were talking about is. It's, everybody is going through their own situation with their own member, and, and we have banners and things that families come out and sign and, and honor their day to somebody that they know that is personally battling or has battled or whatever the case is. So um, the crowd is just as entertaining sometimes as the game's going on. And oh, I'm sure. I'm sure the people that I've saw, I mean, they have a lot of fun. They do, and, and they know that that's what the two things. Let's get together in a fun way and let's help. I mean, there's no better way to help than do it when you're fun. And, and I just, I, I know one day we're looking forward to the day when we don't have to have this tournament to help somebody. We can just get together and play softball and have the bands and all the fun, but we're, we'll have this disease wiped out. Um, and I like what you said too, Tammy, about there might be some people out there battling their own battles. Maybe it's not that serious battle with cancer, but it's a battle nonetheless. And if they can see how someone like yourself can strive and overcome, then maybe they give that courage too to do the same. Right, exactly. And I, I know there are people that <clears throat> they it's not cancer that they're battling, it's other issues. And this gives them another outlook. That it sure does. So folks, it's this weekend. It's an Ivan Park in Washington Courthouse. The fun starts at nine. Tammy will be throwing out the first pitch around noon. Is that it? Or we're having around yeah, noon? Yeah. Uh, but the, all the fun starts at 9 o'clock. Live music, food, fun. Bring the family. Definitely 100% family-oriented event. Bring them. Get your fashionable Batting for Boobies 2016 T-shirt. The nice gray edition this year. Both of the others have been kind of black. Yeah, yeah, As, a went a little different. So, you know, I'm sporting the old. He's sporting the new. But, hey, wear them around town because you get a lot of funny looks. <laughs> but you know what? That is a good thing, too. I mean, uh, get your T-shirt, get your wristband, and show some support. Um, we're looking to help this young lady with her battle uh, against cancer. And we wish you nothing but the best, and we will keep you in our thoughts and prayers. Thank you. Thank you, Andy. Don't you just hate it when you're wanting that mouth-watering breakfast from McDonald's you've dreamed about all night long? And you get to the drive-thru at 1031, just past the 1030 breakfast cutoff! I'm so sorry. Well, my friend, fret no more because your Fayette County McDonald's is offering breakfast all day long now. So relax. Oh, and by the way, your Fayette County McDonald's is looking to hire managers starting at 1250 an hour. Apply online at www.mylocalmcds.com forward slash Jeffersonville today. This independent McDonald's franchise is an equal opportunity employer committed to a diverse and inclusive workforce.